we share something you experience every day, it's your place, ask question and share. Be a part of informative video community by suggested by you. What would happen if humans didn't have bones? You'd be floppy like a beanbag. Could you stand up? Forget it. Could you walk? No way. Without bones you'd be just a puddle of skin and guts on the floor. Skeletons are very intriguing. They have been portrayed as creepy and scary. But they are not really scary. In fact they are very helpful to humans and animals. A skeleton is a rigid framework without which none of our other body parts would stay in place. If we didn't have a skeleton under our skin, protecting our organs we would just be a lump of jelly on the ground. Everybody has a skeleton. Even animals have skeletons. The skeleton is rigid but can still allow movement because of joints connecting the bones together. Are your bones alive? Absolutely. Made mostly of collagen, bone is living growing tissue. Collagen is a protein that provides a soft framework, and calcium phosphate is a mineral that adds strength and hardens the framework. This combination of collagen and calcium makes bone strong and flexible enough to withstand stress. Like other cells in your body, the bone cells rely on blood to keep them alive. Blood brings them food, and oxygen and takes away waste. How many bones do humans have? When you were born you had over 300 bones. As you grew, some of these bones began to fuse together. The result? An adult has only 206 bones. What's bone marrow? Many bones are hollow. Their hollowness makes bone strong and light. It's in the center of many bones, that bone marrow makes new red and white blood cells. Red blood cells ensure that oxygen is distributed to all parts of your body. And white blood cells ensure you are able to fight germs and disease. Who would have thought that bones make blood? The skeletal system interesting facts. The largest bone is the pelvis or hip bone. In fact it is made of six bones joined firmly together. The longest bone is the femur in the thigh. T makes up almost one quarter of the body's total height. The smallest bone is the stirrup deep in the ear. It is hardly larger than a grain of rice. The ears and nose do not have bones inside them. Their inner supports are cartilage or gristle, which is lighter and more flexible than bone. This is why the nose and ears can be bent. After death, cartilage rots faster than bone. This is why the skulls of skeletons have no nose or ears. The human hand has 27 bones, your face has 14. The longest bone in your body? Your thigh bone, the femur, it's about one-fourth of your height. The smallest is the stirrup bone in the ear, which can measure one-tenth of an inch. Did you know that humans and giraffes have the same number of bones in their necks? Giraffe neck vertebrae are just much, much longer. You have over 230 movable and semi-movable joints in your body. Why do we need a skeleton? We need a skeleton to protect our organs and help us move. By simply using your own body, you can understand that bones and the skeleton form an important part of everybody's anatomy. They are the support structure that keeps us upright and walking tall. If this has helped you, we would consider it as a privilege and we will be thankful if you consider sharing this video for your friends and community. Who knows, if it would help someone else. We would love to hear from you. What you think about your bones and what do you think, if you don't have bones? Share your thoughts on this, comment and leave those down below. Go check some interesting stuff at our channel. And if this is your first time here, do not forget to subscribe. Share and support us for the future videos.